this is the start of our um, review. Please like and subscribe. This is the first controller. I'm going by oldest to newest. The um, GameCube controller, I'm pretty sure it's the oldest out of all the ones I have right here. GameCube. I really like how it feels, you know, like. And I really like the sound of these. I never understood this bumper right here, though, the blue one right there. Pause button. A little weird. Fine. I like the way these move. D pad. It's a D pad. These two up here. Or. These things. Well, surprisingly well and easy to click. And that's. Um, great! Um, I'm gonna give the GameCube controller. Uh. A 15 out of 20. Xbox 360. I love how it lights up in the middle. Our first wireless controller. A, B, Y, X. The light button's a little stiff sometimes. But I don't really care. These, yes, like... The little bumps down things. I like those. D pad. Like the weirdest D pad I've ever seen. But I've actually liked it more than other D pads. See, back comes off. I can't get it off with one hand. That. Bang. It's our first um, wireless one. I really like the Xbox one. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'll give it an 18 out of 20. Please don't smite me in the comments if this is actually older than the Xbox one. I don't know. The Wii, this this controller is revolutionary. Okay. Nice D-pad, home button, plus one. These. B button, very important button. Um, by itself, I'm giving. I would give it same as Xbox. Um, let me. I'll give it. Yeah, the same as Xbox. Um, eighteen out of uh twenty. Nunchuck. I'm counting these as their own controllers. By itself doesn't do anything so a zero but connected to the Wii controller 20 out of 20 connected to the Wii controller it makes it so much better like just connect it in here best best controller ever probably I don't know really good 20 out of 20 wheel doesn't do anything when it goes in, when this goes in here, oh, go in there, please. It does something, but I don't know. It does. It's not revolutionary like the nunchuck. So I, I feel like it's worse than the normal Wii controller because you know it's less usable. But it's really good for Mario Kart. So if if I'm I'm gonna rate this like um a ten out of twenty. I don't, I don't really like the, the wheel. Wii NES controller. I really like how it feels, but I bet it's better for some of you guys though because I don't actually have any Wii games that you can use this with. It's kind of useless to me. But I bet if I had any old NES games on my Wii, it would be really great. Um, yeah, if I if I had any NES things, I think I would rate it a twenty out of twenty. If I had any NES things, but since I don't have any games, I'll just give it a five out of twenty because I can't actually use it. This is interesting. 
I actually really like this one. It's just my preference. These three the buttons. And I think it's really cool how the Wii controller can actually work on this. Hold on, I didn't do anything. So, um, yeah. You know, it's, it's a, it char charges nicely. I feel like it kind of, I kind of feel like it would need a better charge, charge life. But the Switch has a much less long time charge life. Um, I'm actually giving this one a 20 out of 20. I actually really like this one. Really interesting controllers. They can disconnect. They can, you can hold them separately. They're surprisingly good for the idea, in my opinion. I feel like Nintendo performed it as good as they could. Like, look at, yeah. Like this, and then these buttons, you know, they would like, take it actually off. I don't feel like doing that right now. Yeah. The normal controller. Um. I'll give. I'll give you 13. I'll give you 13 out of 20. Oh, probably the worst controller on this list. Rock candy. It's too small. Like, if you had bigger hands than me, this would probably not be playable at all. Like, I guess it's kind of cool that you can see through it. But the lighting up is disappointing. Pointing. You can't see it. I um, It's not connected right now, but when it is lit up, it's just that one little middle part right there. So, um, 5 out of 20. I'm the last one. This. It's a, it's, if you couldn't tell this is a Switch controller, the only way you would tell is, like, the home button. This is a really cool controller. It's not official Nintendo, I'm pretty sure. But I really like this controller for a few, for um, this reason a lot. Orange color, it looks better in person. It looks kind of weird in the recording. But my favorite colors are purple and orange. Then there's pink, doesn't really show up. There's all the colors. Blue, red, green, yellow, light blue, orange again. So, um, yeah. I feel like that was an interesting selection of controllers, interesting enough. This was a controller. I really like how it looks. Uh, okay. That, th this is the end of the review, obviously. My, if I had to say my favorite, my favorite looking, definitely the NES. My favorite and how it feels, I think I would say probably the Xbox 360 controller. It just feels really nice. If I like, like, but my favorite in general, yeah, that's kind of hard because it's. I don't know which one my favorite general is. But I also really like the GameCube controller. Get out of here. Bye.